You can't buy a healthier body. You can't buy uh, better sleep. You can buy products that reduce friction to get to that place, but it still requires behavior change and putting in the work to get there. Talk about a hefty intro. What's up friends and welcome back to my channel. That's my good friend and fellow YouTuber, Shervin Shares. And he's joining me in today's episode to unpack this idea of buying your way into a healthier body. After spending years testing hundreds of products from Fight Camp to the Amazon Halo and every flavor of Soylent known to mankind, Shervin knows a thing or two about the shiny new product syndrome. And that's why I had to have him on to talk about this wild, wild west of wellness gadgets and to get his honest take on what makes a device actually worth the long-term investment. So in this video, we'll dive into Shervin's three-point system for picking out the right device for your needs and talk about some of the key factors to look for when it comes to using this tech to achieve results. But first, if you're new here, welcome. My mission is to help you achieve success without sacrificing your health or happiness. I do product reviews weekly, so if you're into this, click that subscribe button and join the type A tribe. And so let's kick things off with this idea of getting past the product overload. There are an endless amount of health gadgets out there and the market is designed to make us think that we need every single one of them in order to be healthy. But before you get tempted by all of those buy now buttons, there's one very important factor to consider and one that often gets overlooked. You have to figure out what your goals are first right? What's the end result you want? And then work your way backwards and, and figure out what are the tools that are going to help you get there. And that takes a lot. It takes work and research and either listening to people online and figuring out what their experience was with it and what value they found in it. And then making sure, okay, do those value points check off the boxes that I'm looking for or does it not? So step one, identify your goals. But what does that look like from a practical standpoint? So a really broad and vague goal would be I want to improve my sleep. But with that, you get a million products out there from red light therapy to lion's mane and blue blocking glasses. Sure, I could throw everything under the kitchen sink at my sleep, but then it's really hard to gauge what actually works. So the secret sauce here for me and for Shervin is to really start by tracking, which will actually help you narrow down your goals. So in the case of sleep, you get a sleep tracker, you start looking at your raw data, and then you pinpoint the areas that need the most work. When you niche down like this, you get a much smaller pool of products to work with and a much more targeted focus around achieving that goal. And of course, this idea can apply to really any health topic from nutrition to fitness and everything in between. So say you identified your goals, you got a tracker, but then what? It's so easy to get bogged down by the numbers and really start obsessing over your data. But Shervin's key to success here is to take some of this data with a grain of salt and to really focus more on the big picture you get with these devices. Like a lot of products I use, I know they're not 100% accurate, but there's still value to it. Um, for example, like the Aura Ring, I would say is one of probably my favorite uh, wearable and technology. And I know a lot of pieces of it aren't accurate, but there are portions of it where it is extremely valuable. Like seeing my trends, my heart rate variability, my resting heart rate at night. Um, I don't look at the sleep stages, but looking at those heart rate and HRV and sometimes even body temperature deviation, I think can be extremely valuable because just because I know when I eat junk food or ice cream, like those numbers elevate. And the same thing with like drinking alcohol. So it's, it's changed my lifestyle to a more healthy lifestyle, especially the things I do before I go to bed. So I think there's great value there. So coming back to the premise of this video, and no, you can't buy your way to a healthier body, but the tools you use can influence your decisions and help you make correlations around your daily habits. For instance, if you see in real time what a glazed donut does to your blood sugar levels using a CGM, well then you might have a very different perspective on your own nutrition based on your body's response to foods. Yes, it takes a bit of work and a hell of a lot of experimentation, but once you identify the things that work, that's really when the habit building can start to begin. Which leads me to Shervin's third point and the final element to talk about, and that is sustainability. Now I have certainly fallen out of love with a lot of devices, meaning the habits that I built around them also fell off the bandwagon too. But Shervin has somehow gotten past these issues by finding devices that create community, 
and encourage identity. And I'll let him explain. Like the Whoop Strap, it provides a great community of other athletes. And I think just being in that community is valuable in itself. Like the device doesn't have to be perfect. If you're obsessing over it, that's an issue. But if you're using that as a way to kind of label your identity as like, I'm an athlete, I'm someone who likes to work out, that is of extreme value. Now, Sherbert and I definitely share some differences on the Whoop Strap, but at the end of the day, the device itself doesn't really matter. Quality matters, yes, but whether it's the Amazon Halo, the Whoop Strap, or the Apple Watch, or really any health gadget for that matter, there's really just three things to think about when you're initially making that purchase. Can this device help you identify and improve your goal? Will it give you the metrics needed to establish these healthy habits? And does it provide community and instill a sense of identity to make it sustainable? There are obviously other factors that come into play like price and form factor, but when you have these three things dialed in, you are much more likely to find a device that's actually going to match your needs. And of course, I couldn't end this episode without Shervin sharing some of his top products for sleep, fitness, and nutrition. For me, sleep is the aura ring that I found is kind of the best tracker for me. It's just easy to use and can track the areas that I need right now. Fitness is the Apple Watch. A whoop is a, is a close second. And just making sure that I'm burning calories and getting my workouts in. Nutrition, I would say any of the CGM companies, there's there's a couple right now. There's Levels, there's NutriSense, there's Very Stable, um, all great options. They all use the same hardware, it's just the software and tracking how your glucose is kind of impacted throughout the day. And if any of this resonated with you, make sure to head over to Shervin's channel and give him some love. I'll include a link in the description below. He continues to blow me away with all the fitness gadgets he's trying out. And did I mention he is also freaking hilarious. This is powder, right? Oh shit. Oh, I spilled all over myself, so be careful when you're drinking this. Would you look at that? Probably got my pants all wet. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Sherman Shares, where I share products, services, and there's a bug on the table. Yeah, so this is it. I'm just gonna watch the ice, and that's about it. Thanks for joining us today. Hello, hello. Is this working? I wonder why you need a hard reset tool. Does it break often? So links to his channel and our full interview are in the show notes below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you learned something, if you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to this channel, make sure to click that subscribe button and then hit that notification bell so you get notified each week when I drop a new video. And until then, Shervin and I cannot wait to catch you on the next one. Oh, yay! Yeah. <laughs>